a top medical research scientist. And so guys, uh, today I'm actually happy. I'm an Africanist, as you can see. I represent Africa, Kenya. Yeah, so your fridge is killing you guys. Yeah, your fridge is killing you. You see, there's something called uh, food poisoning. Food poisoning uh, emanates or stems from uh, food spoilage. You may have some chills, anorexia, that is a low appetite. You may have malaise, that is a tiredness. Uh, in uh, the gastrointestinal tract system, that's the digestive system. Uh, it may be characterized by diarrhea, vomiting. There is a little bit of a sweating, dizziness. There are characteristics uh, of uh, food spoilage. Change in texture, unpleasant odor from the foodstuffs. Uh, we have a change of color and uh, it may give off an unpleasant a taste. Food spoilage is actually interlinked with the food poisoning. We all store our food in fridges in one way or another. You may find that you are consuming food from a refrigerator, maybe in a supermarket, in a mall, in a shop. Our factors that are lead to our food are spoilage in fridges, overstuffing of the fridges, spillage of drinks in the fridges, storage of uh, raw meat products in the top shelves, storage of uh, fruits and vegetables together in the same shelf or in the same drawer. So those are the major factors uh, of uh, food spoilage in fridges. So uh, let's go down deep into these factors. Do not uh, store fruits and vegetables together. Fruits, they produce an enzyme, and this enzyme, it may lead to tissue rot in the vegetables. So the fruits are more reactive as compared to the vegetables. When you store the raw meat on the top shelf, the meat uh, have some drips of the enzyme. So if you store it in the higher shelf, you know, there are other uh, foods in the other shelves. Those drips of the enzymes, they accumulate on the food stuff that are on other shelves so that accumulation it actually forms something like a substrate yeah it's like a garden where a bacteria can thrive over stuffing of our food stuff in fridges you see uh in the make of the fridges the mechanics of the fridges there are rotating fans yeah in the fridges the main function of the rotating uh, fans is to allow a free flow of air. When you don't allow that uh, free flow of air, it affects the temperature that uh, is supposed to keep the microorganisms inactive. Therefore, it's like they are reviving, yeah? So, make sure that the fridge is not overstuffed. Always make sure, in any case of a spillage, you clean the refrigerator as soon as possible, yeah? Because uh, all this spillage, they actually are create like an environment eh? an environment where microorganisms can thrive there's this uh, habit it's a lifestyle you have the some food that you had prepared ready to eat food you had put it in the fridge you remove the food from the fridge and then you just place it uh, somewhere in the kitchen and then you go and make calls microorganisms have a short time of replicating of multiplying the first thing there might uh, be a bad smell or an awkward smell. The taste may be unpleasant. In the whole aspect uh, of removing the food from the fridge, uh, putting it in the oven and actually serving it, one should be uh, very keen because uh, this is a loophole for uh, poisoning. So uh, guys, this marks the end of my research. Uh, for those uh, who have not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. I'm doing a research. I'm still doing another research. Uh, it's called Manzi Manzi Rebellion. It's never been seen. Yeah, the Manzi Manzi Rebellion. So guys, uh, stay tuned. Yeah, subscribe. <laughs>